Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Suyin here and today I have a new video for all of us and it's going to be about credit cards, friend or foe. So this is something that is very contentious when it comes to... is that even a word? Uh, contentious? Yeah. This is something that is very contentious when it comes to the world of finance and if you are familiar with the personal finance guru Dave Ramsey you will know that he hates credit cards like absolutely hates credit cards and I think my hero <laughs> I guess you can call him my hero but the finance guru that I always look up to is Scott Pape and he also hates credit cards so both of them have this thing where they cut up their credit cards and they post it on their social media pages and they are so freaking happy about it. So today we're gonna try to see which side are we on, whether we think our credit cards are our friends or our enemies or arch nemesis or foes or whatever else you can synonym into being a foe. Okay, so let's look at why they are our foe first and this is something that I come up with and it is entirely my opinion so let me know what you think so first off a credit card is a foe because they charge crazy amounts of interest onto the amount that is outstanding at the end of the month if you have not made the full payment so this is something that is definitely a trick up the bank sleeves where they are earning a lot of money from us when we have balances on our credit card that is not paid for by the date it is due and this is something that is very easy not to do which is very easy not to pay our bills on time because we either forget or we just miss a date or we don't have the cash flow to actually pay off that credit card and this is where they really trap us the interest rate on a credit card is what is it? It's anywhere between 18% This is just off the top of my head and that is insane So this is a per year interest So if you divide it by 12 then you get the per month interest Which I will put right there because I don't do quick math without my calculator uh, Or a piece of paper So yeah, the interest rate is crazy high and I guess it is designed in a way that we forget sometimes and by forgetting, it is pretty bad on our credit score. In Malaysia, we call it CTOS. And you have a credit score or credit rating which determines how credit worthy you are. And that will actually be a deciding factor when banks want to loan you money when you are purchasing a property or borrowing money for a business or a personal loan, things like that. And I believe that the interest rate they charge also depends on our credit score and also yeah different factors like how much you make a month and things like that but how timely do we pay our credit card bills that is another factor and yeah so that is actually a very big part of using a credit card it's designed in the system to actually get the most money from us in the event that we don't pay our credit card bills and it is actually I think the banks hope that we don't pay our credit card bills because that is a heck of a revenue stream for them. Another big reason why a credit card is an enemy to me at least is if we are not in the proper mindset and we don't have the proper habits, financial habits I'm speaking, then we are really not prepared to use a credit card. So let's just take for example me, right? <laughs> Where to examine but myself first. When I first got started in uh, the adult world, I was given a credit card and they made me feel special because they're like, oh, you are eligible to have this credit card and they send it to me in the mail. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's great. I got a credit card and I didn't even need to apply for it. So I remember it was a Maybank Ik One credit card and yeah, it was okay. It was definitely not the best credit card, but yeah, I did the job, right? So. If you are trigger friendly and you just swipe all your purchases on a credit card, it kind of feels like you have a lot of access to money even though you don't necessarily have that amount in your bank account. And that is 
the dangerous part, right? If you're not able to pay in full at the end of the month or whenever your credit card is due, you would definitely be racking up a debt and you'll be racking up the interest that goes along with the debt and that makes it harder and harder to pay for as your debt is compounding in significant ways. So that is part of the difficulties of navigating the way if you don't have the proper mindset. So a lot of people view a credit card as being, you know, your money or a credit card is an emergency plan. I hear that a lot. So if I don't have money to pay for a hospital bill, I'll put it on a credit card. If I don't have money to pay for a flight because I really want to travel, I will use the credit card. So little by little, there will be credit card bills uh, building up and when we are not able to pay for them, that is when things get very difficult. And that leads me to my third point as to why credit cards are our foes or our enemies is that because this is something that is, I, I guess we'll call it money shame, it is something that is so easy to hide. I alluded to this in an article I wrote for Hustler.com and I was talking about how it's so easy to hide the fact that you have credit card debt and it's something that we carry a lot of shame around and no one can see it and no one can feel it but us but it will pervade out into the rest of our lives because however we're feeling on the inside our well-being it is the foundation to how we perform or how we experience the rest of our lives and as a result of that if you're feeling and carrying around all this guilt and all this shame it is going to be a very heavy lifestyle oh yeah i got sidetracked there so uh the reason why it's easy to hide the fact that you have credit card debt is that you are the only one who has access to your bank account you are the only one seeing the balance on your credit card statements and also yeah it is not something that we talk about on an everyday basis we're not super open when it comes to having conversations around money and i believe that is due to a number of different reasons whether it's societal taboo or in our families we don't talk about money or in our families it is rude to ask people how you earn more money and what you put your money into to grow it so i i think this whole idea of money or talking about money being negative or rude i think it's something we can do away with it and that's why i love the internet and videos youtube and blogs instagram all of these spaces all of these platforms are opportunities for us to talk about money and to share what we have learned along the way and what will really help other people out there and i have definitely benefited from that so thank you for all you content creators i know it's not easy and yeah i really appreciate you spreading all the knowledge and all the experience that you have learned from so that we can learn vicariously from you okay so continuing on so yeah let me just recap why credit cards are our enemies or our foes so one it bears high interest when we don't pay our credit cards and it affects our credit scores which affects the rest of our financial uh, life and two if we are not ready for using a credit card we will definitely get ourselves into trouble and three oh, i'm having difficulty remembering and three um and three it actually enables us to hide a lot of our money issues and our money problems because we are the only ones who can see what is wrong within our credit card statements yeah okay so i know that is super negative but we are exploring both sides so don't worry we are moving on to the benefits now okay so why a credit card can be our friend there are actually quite a number of reasons and this is actually the reason as to why I still have a credit card. I have one credit card and I am pretty happy to still carry it around because I have instilled in me better money habits and that is the thing that has changed the game for me and I hope this also helps. 
So the first thing I really like about credit cards is the security it gives me. And by security, I mean it is sort of like an emergency, but I know for a fact that anything I put on my credit card, I will be able to pay off because I won't swipe anything that I can't actually afford. And I heard of this crazy quote when I was um, feeling guilty about spending too much money on a vacation with my cousins. And the quote, I think it's from Jay-Z, and the quote goes like this, if you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. So that is something that is very, very relevant. And that is something that I ask myself, can I buy this twice? Can I afford it? Maybe, maybe not. So that helps me or that centers me into deciding whether I should purchase that item or purchase that vacation or not. So a credit card is actually helpful because you're not always going to have so much cash available to you. And when it comes to things like uh, purchasing flight tickets or purchasing a hotel stay, sometimes you're not going to be able to pay for all of it in debit card or in bank transfer. So sometimes it's kind of like a security. Um, let me get clear on this. I like using credit cards because I know that in the event, if I really need to pay for something and it's super urgent, like say I needed to book a ticket because someone uh, who was very, very dear to me was ill and they were somewhere across the world, I would be able to swipe that credit card first and pay for it later or really work to pay for it. But I needed it then. I would be able to do that because I had a credit card. And I don't know about you, but sometimes, this is point number two, when I'm traveling, a credit card is useful, especially when I don't have the currency in particular that I have not exchanged maybe, and a credit card comes in handy here because I am able to transact in that country and buy myself a meal or whatever it is, a hotel stay in case I end up in a country that I didn't plan to be in. The examples that I've been giving is, it's not for like everyday use. It is very specific to the luxuries in life of having an emergency choice of payment and also if you are traveling, which is an ultra luxury, for the most part, it is an option for payment as well. But then again, there are also debit cards now I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, that enable us to pay for our stuff and it is, yeah, it's amazing because we transact based on the spot rates and they don't charge us crazy transaction fees, so that's pretty cool. Okay, moving on. The third reason as to why credit cards are our friends is the one people go crazy about, which is that it allows you to accumulate points. So most credit cards have a point system where you can convert them into miles, like airplane miles, which you can redeem or upgrade your flight tickets. And they also have programs or schemes where you can redeem it for stuff. I've personally redeemed my credit card points to buy me contact lenses because they are really expensive. And yeah, you can accumulate other things from credit card points, but if you don't need it, don't bother using the points and accumulating a bunch of things you don't need. So if you can use them for things that you actually enjoy and bring joy to your life and don't forget to actually convert those points because I think I do all the time. I'm not a huge huge fan of credit cards so I'm not super into like getting like oh okay this is a credit card that will get me this amount of points and this is what I can get. No, I'm not that kind of person. I'm going to be very straightforward with you. I prefer to spend my time delving into the research for stocks so that I can invest in an asset that will grow me wealth instead of spending more money on my credit card. So that's just a personal preference. If you have lots of knowledge about credit cards, feel free to share it with us. And I think that's fantastic that you choose to invest your time that way because then yeah, that's something you're really good at and I'm sure it benefits you a lot. So a lot of people are really good at the fourth thing which is getting cash back and some credit cards 
have great cashback systems when you are shopping for groceries or you're spending on utilities or you're dining and the fifth thing is credit cards give you discounts for certain merchant deals where they have partnered with an entity and they decide to give you a discount so that's when it's really a joy to be a holder of that credit card and yeah what else okay i guess i can tell you about this um i booked a very expensive trip for my standards to have with my cousins and we booked for eight people and when we booked that accommodation and that event ticket we weren't able to pay for it because that amount was so high and you can only use a credit card so I guess that is the benefit of having credit cards so that you can pay for more things but that is uh, I mean that's not ideal ideally I want to increase my bank account balance and my portfolio balances rather than expense it out but when it comes to the luxuries in life or like really spending on experiences and things like that sorry you see so much pain in my face because like i'm thinking about all of the the money that i've spent on the trip and i'm like oh yeah that's painful but at the end of the day if you think it's worth it you spend on it and you enjoy it so that's me consoling myself and <laughs> A credit card will enable me to do that and for you to do that too. But yeah, all in all, there are definitely quite a few benefits there. I think I mentioned five benefits of using credit cards and there are three downsides. But then again, I would say the three downsides are pretty heavy and it will be a very hefty price that you have to pay if you don't use credit cards wisely enough. I guess that at the end of the day, it is very important to know ourselves and know our spending behavior so we can hack the system where we are not giving too much power to a credit card and we are pulling back that power and taking responsibility over our actions and our behavior patterns. So if you can trust yourself with a credit card and you have great support structures in place like reminders on your phone of when you should be paying your credit card bill. I, I put a reminder the day before my credit card is actually due, so I always make sure I pay whatever balance there is on that. I forgot there was one more thing. Oh yeah, there is one more benefit. And I think this is a very important benefit that matters. It helps with cash flow. And hear me out on this because for me, I work in sales and a lot of the time I need to pay for things like petrol or meals that I spend with customers or suppliers and I will use my credit card for this because one, it enables me to track what I'm actually spending on work and two, it also enables me to have that sort of cash flow where I am paying my credit card at the end of the month so is very close to when I am paid in terms of my salary. So the moment I, uh, the moment I pay off my credit card, I know that my salary is coming in, and it is just like a very small, small window before um, my income actually comes in, where I get back where I expensed out. So in a sense, if you're using a credit card, it actually helps you to. Put off paying certain things until your billing date and that will give you extra leeway to have money in your bank account and that is really helpful especially if you spend very little or if your income is on the smaller side but then again i really think that credit cards are a difficult tool to use and it's not something that everyone can master so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye!